Maker and welcome to Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me, Tiddly Nihan. Bad day at work, arguments with friends and family, cat stuck down the toilet, again? Sounds like you need a cheese and onion pie. So for my cheese and onion pie, I've got 400 grams of sliced onions, I've grated 400 grams of cheese, I've got 500 grams of pastry, I'm using ready-made pastry, and a couple of eggs. I've put the onions in a pan and added just enough water to cover them and I'm going to bring this to the boil. When it comes to boiling, turn the heat right down and just simmer gently for 10 minutes. What you're doing here is softening the onions and taking some of the harshness out of them. After 10 minutes, drain the onions. Just look at that lovely green liquid coming out. I've put the onions into a large bowl and I'm just going to add in a teaspoon of mustard and season well with salt and lots of pepper then add in the cheese and the two eggs which I've beaten now mix really well lovely I've lined an 8 inch pie dish with half the pastry and I'll just add in the pie mixture spread it around then use the other half of the pastry to make the lid. Crimp the edges of the pie together with a fork to make a seal. And when I say seal, I don't mean oh, 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 oh. Trim away the excess pastry. Make a few slits in the pastry just to let the steam out. And then brush the top with egg. This will give a nice brown, golden texture colour to the top of the pie. Now this is ready to go in the oven at 200 degrees C for about 30 minutes. After 35 minutes the pie top should be lovely and brown. Leave it to cool for about 15 minutes before you slice it. Cheese and onion pie. Serve with a few fries, some peas, maybe a salad. Do I have to tell you everything? Cheese and onion pie is such great comfort food, it makes a great supper and it's so quick and easy. Join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me, Tiddly Nihon. Until next time, Huda Hafiz! <laughs>